Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today we're talking about the back elbow. I get this question all the time. Do I want to have the back elbow up? Do I want to have it down? So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you my opinion and then talk a little bit about why I feel the way I do. Um, so this is a topic that's debated a lot in baseball. And for me, with hitters, I want to have my back elbow up. Now, when I say up, I don't mean that it has to be way, way up here, although you'll see some players at the major league level really get their elbow high. What you don't want is your elbow down here by your side pointing down, okay? Um, so we teach all of our hitters that I wanna, when I'm getting ready and I'm starting to make my forward move and I'm getting into a good hitting position, I want my elbow up, right? So some players are going to be up here, some will be up here, some will be up even a little higher. But again, I don't want my elbow right down here. Here's the reason. We talk all the time about being in the proper sequence, having your swing work in the right sequence, okay? For me to allow my swing so that when I start to turn, my leg starts to turn and my upper body is pulled back so that I can really use the ground and allow the big part of my body, the big muscles in my body to really create the swing, I need to be able to pull back. So if you watch your other, our other videos, we talk a lot about the pullback, being able to resist with our upper body so that as, again, as this turns, we can create some separation between our lower body and our upper body to be able to really create bat speed. In order for me to resist the right way, pull back the right way, my elbow has to be up. If my elbow's down, I can't really pull back, okay? So when I'm, my elbow's up, right? And it, it doesn't always have to stay up or start up. You see a lot of major league guys, some guys start down, some guys start up. But what you're gonna see if a guy starts down, as he gets ready, you're gonna see the elbow start to pick up, okay? So it almost always picks up. Even guys here, you'll see some guys start here and just go right back. But a lot of times you'll see just a little bit of picking up, okay? So just go online and look, if you just look at, not even videos, just pictures of guys, when their front foot lands and they're about to launch, you're gonna see almost everybody with an elbow up, okay? So now I've been able to pull back as I start to turn, I've created resistance, and then this is gonna start to drop in here as I start to turn, but I've already pulled back. If I don't pull back, if I just let my elbow, this is what I see a lot at younger levels. This is a huge move with really young kids um, where the elbow's down, they never pull back, and when they go to swing, because my elbow's down, there's no pullback, and my upper body wants to get going before my lower body. So now my swing's working in the reverse order. The sequence is, is wrong, all right? So instead of being able to work from the ground up and letting my lower body do a lot of the work, when my elbow doesn't get up, my elbow's down here, I end up making this move a lot. So I can't pull back, I can't create resistance, and so my upper body wants to beat my lower body. So now I've got kind of this punchy, pushy swing. I can't really create a lot of bat speed, okay? The other thing is, this elbow, when I get here, and now my leg starts to turn, and this is gonna start, my upper body's gonna turn also. This is gonna start to drop in, right? My elbow's gonna start to drop in. These time up so that as I turn, everything times up and works together. If my elbow starts down, this is a big problem I see with young hitters also. When the elbow's down and never gets up, well, when I start to go, not only does my upper body lead everything and the sequence is off, but my upper, my elbow now, because it's not up, it leads everything. So now this is, my elbow is getting way out here and the bat drags. I'm not able to release the barrel really well because my elbow is leading everything. If I pull back and then this starts to work under and everything gets timed up, eventually, here we go, it starts to drop in. Now my hands can eventually overtake my, my elbow. But if my elbow is down and I make this move, which I see a lot in young players, the hands have a tough time overtaking the elbow and then the barrel can never be released. It gets stuck back here, it gets dragged back, and then you hit a lot of balls to the opposite field, and you, you can't, why can't I pull the ball? Why am I late on everything? Why am I fouling everything off there? It's because my elbow isn't timing up the right way. It's leading, 
causing my bat to drag. Okay, so those are the two biggest reasons that I like elbow up. It has to be up. Again, doesn't have to be way up. It can be here. You see different degrees of it. But if you watch Major League Baseball, if you watch Elite Hitters, you're going to see almost, almost no one is going to be elbow straight down to the ground there. It's going to be really hard to create the right sequence, and you're going to end up dragging the barrel and not being able to release the barrel to hit. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. We've got a couple other videos on the same topic if you want to go check those out also. If you don't know a lot about the pullback that we talked about, same thing. I've got a bunch of videos online that talk about the pullback and why it's really, really important. So go check those out also. Thank you again for the questions. I hope this helps you guys out. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there uh, for you guys to check out. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. We've got a link to our Patreon site where you can support the channel and a bunch of other stuff. So definitely check that out. And that's all I got. Good luck to everybody. And we'll talk to you later.